We're here in the Tote Hall Limerick Racecourse with Willie D. He's just arrived. Uh, Willie, your reaction to your lightly, lightly results today? I mean, you, it looks like you've seen your top spot in the constituency. Yes, well, I mean, when I saw the results from all around the country, I was uh, very glad with the vote I've got. It looks like I might, I'll be one of the very few, if not the only, Fianna Fáil TD in the country to be elected in the first count. And uh, that's pretty gratifying, and I want to thank my huge team of canvassers and the people who support me in such large numbers. And, uh, you know, we all live to fight another day, and I'll be a member of the next all, and I'll discharge my responsibilities accordingly. What happens today with Fianna Fáil? Because a lot of people were saying that this was your opportunity government. You know, this you were likely to be the largest party. Well, we could have done. We could have done better. I mean, we didn't. I think what basically happened was that, uh, you know, people wanted change, and we didn't persuade them sufficiently that we were the party to bring, bring about the sort of change they wanted. Even though, you know, a lot of the changes, uh, some of the, some of the good things that were done during the past four years during confidence supply were forced on the government by us. And there were some very quite substantial progress, uh, 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 proposals for change in the Fianna Fáil manifesto, but it doesn't seem to have percolated through to the people. We are likely to see um, to see Sinn Féin now as one of the bigger parties in Dáil uh, Do you think that there might be a change of tack now from Michael Martin about possibly going to government with them? Well, no, I mean, there'll be there are three parties that will be of roughly, we, I, all the seats haven't in yet, so, you know, we'll have to wait and see what the seat count is. I mean, the indications are that uh, we would probably have slightly more seats than the other two large parties, but um, we, we, we fought the election in a certain with a certain commitment that we wouldn't form a coalition with Sinn Féin and uh, people voted for us on that, on that basis and uh, you know it would be very difficult to, to go back on that. And I mean if, if Michal Martin doesn't end up as, as anti-shock I mean surely there has to be question marks over his leadership of the party. So. Uh, well look you know I mean we're only, we're only counting the votes now at the moment I mean, I mean uh, we'll, we'll consider all these things in the, in the fullness of time but Michal Martin has done a very good job and you think where we were in 2011, where our very existence was at stake, we've consolidated consolidated that position, and we may actually finish up with this long count is over tomorrow or the day after. We may actually finish up with more seats than we did to the election with. Thanks very much, really. Thank you.